Hello, we're going to be talking about algebraic manipulation, and that's also referred to as rearranging equations. So this skill is useful if you're being asked to solve for a particular variable or to find a value for a variable, and you've been given several variables to work with. So to start with, a lot of um, algebraic manipulation is based on commutative properties. We're going to go back to elementary school for a second here. In elementary school, when you were doing simple addition, you would have looked at the ability to rearrange something like 2 plus 3 into two other facts or pieces of equality. So knowing that I could add 2 plus 3 to make 5 means that I can also write that 2 would be the result of 5 minus 3 and that 3 would be the result of 5 minus 2. That's an application of the commutative property where I'm rearranging and taking a value like this 2 and I'm subtracting it over to the other side of the equal sign. So in algebraic manipulation, we're doing basically the same thing in order to isolate for one of the variables instead of one of the values. So I'll give you an example with an addition here. Let's say I had a rule that was given that two numbers added together make a third number, a plus b equals x. It's just like my 2 plus 3 equals 5. Well, from there, I can write two other statements that are true. I can isolate for b by subtracting a. So I could say that b is x minus a. And I could also isolate for a by subtracting b from x. So that's two different equivalent equations or true statements that come from the original equation that I was given. A similar process holds true if the relationship between the two elements, or three elements I should say, is multiplicative. So here's a really common one. Distance equals time times velocity. So given that relationship exists, I can write two other statements. I can divide the t over to the left and find a statement for velocity where v is isolated. And the second one is I could divide velocity over to the left to find a statement where time is isolated. So depending on the problem that you're solving, you may use any one of these three forms and they all come one from the other. Okay, here's another really common one. This is for calculating interest in simple interest equations or problems. So we've got I for interest, principal, rate, and time. But all of these, the P, the R, and the T, are joined together with a multiplication. So this is actually P times R times T. And because that relationship is multiplicative, I can isolate P, R, or T using a division. So I could say I divided by P is r times t. That would be an intermediate step. I could divide the i by p and r and isolate just the time. I could I divide the interest by principal and time, and that would give me the rate, etc. 